Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So this week I decided to do a uh, magazine art journal. Um, actually I had been thinking about using a magazine for an art journal for a long time, but um, never got around to it. I got a ton of different art journals, different sizes, different brands, but um, I saw Dee Dee Willingham's video where she cut a magazine in half and turned it into an art journal and it just looks like a lot of fun so I thought I would try it but I decided to do a small one so I had this um, magazine it was a gardening magazine and it was I guess a sample that they sent to me and I guess trying to get me to um, subscribe to the magazine um, so it's got a lot of pretty flowers and butterflies in it, so I thought, oh, this will work perfectly. So I cut it in half, and I just used a metal ruler and X-Acto knife and kind of did it, you know, went down the ruler several times till I cut through all the pages. And then I grabbed my um, Aileen's um, Tacky Glue, and I, as you see here, just put a clump of it on there and using my finger to spread it around on the one side of the magazine and then I do it on the back side of the other magazine and then put the two together and once I put the two together I put a book on top and let it uh, dry like overnight so I did this one day um, on one day and then the next day I decided to play in it and try to do a couple art journal pages um, but I also, um, I, while it was still a little wet, I decided to go ahead and do the cover real quick. So I thought, well, if I'm going to have it sitting drying overnight, might as well get it covered and get everything, you know, done on it um, that I wanted, you know, to do. And then let it all dry at once. And then that way I can work on it, you know, and play in it the next day. So here um, I just took some scrapbook paper that I liked and um, you saw me there a minute ago kind of marking the size of it so I would know what size to cut these covers and then glued them onto the front and the back of the art journal of this uh, little magazine journal that I made and again I just did one magazine because I didn't the ones that I've seen her, you know, work on and that she's made that's like got four magazines cut in half or two cut in half and then it's four pieces. I'm not sure. It looked huge, but um, I don't know. Yeah, and here's why I put the books on there to let it dry. Um, I decided to add some washi tape to the spine, but I wanted to make sure it was glued securely, so... I'm adding some Aileen's tacky glue to the edge of the spine and then this is the washi tape I want to add to it because you know washi tape isn't real sticky so I wanted to make sure it was gonna you know definitely stay and I try to put this on as you know straight as I could and it came out I guess as straight as, as you know as possible as could be uh, it was straight enough and then I trimmed it and then I decided to um, cover that with packing tape which you'll see me do that here in just a minute so here I have the packing tape I decided I'm going to cover my spine with that which I do but then I thought you know um, I don't want my cover to get all messed up because, you know, if I get kind of sloppy with the paint, it's going to end up messing up my cover. So I decided, you know, I like this cover so much, I'm going to cover the whole thing with packing tape. So you will see me here with the packing tape, just go over the whole thing. So I decide to go across one side and then across the other and then cut it and then do the same at the other end and then down the middle 
So the whole cover is uh, covered in packing tape, so that way it's protected. And it doesn't, you know, if I get paint on it, it's not going to, you know, mess it up. And then here I go down the middle. Okay, so that's my little uh, magazine journal. And I just use a card to smooth everything out, make sure there's no air bubbles. And then I decided it'd be fun to do a couple layouts in this. So I went through and I found a page that I liked. And I just using the craft acrylic paint, so I'm putting white over the text, and I decided to leave the title there. I kind of like what the title says. It says Mexican sunflower, and then I wanted to obliterate the edge at the top. I wanted it to blend in more, um, and then I did the same on the other page, just over the text, putting white, and then tried to, you know lose that um, that line across the top and uh, I decided to dry it quickly and then I grabbed some green paint and instead of using my finger I decided I'd have a little bit more control with a paintbrush so I ended up grabbing a paintbrush and using that to just kind of paint across you know the top and down the side and there I got some darker green because I felt like it needed to be, you know, darker on that one side. And then tried to blend the two pages together. And I um, wiped off, you know, with the baby wipe anywhere where I got too much paint or covered up where I didn't want covered up. So that's where I was wiping it. And there's some text right there on that one page by the butterfly um, and the flower, but um, I decided, you know, I'll just put something over it like a quote. I'll get a quote out of my stash and put it over it. It's not a big deal. So I wasn't all oh, that concerned about that. So I'm trying to preserve, or re you know, the, the titles on these pages. Why? I don't know. I just decided to keep the titles. And then I'm trying to give this more of a mottled look with the green and blend it into these two pictures on these pages. But one thing I must uh, say that if you do try this or if you have tried this, which you probably already know, um, you definitely want to let these pages dry um, before you close your book because I put some wax paper here I took a butterfly and cut it in half because I wanted butterflies on this one page so I cut it in half and made it made two butterflies out of it but I close eventually closed this page to go to another one and I put wax paper in between but it's still the paint wasn't really drying it's still kind of stuck and I kind of messed it up a little bit but you know um, I just went back over it with some more green paint to try to fix it and then left it open to let it dry completely so I got the butterflies on the other one so that I was happy with that I went through my stash and found some quotes and put those on there and let's see I guess I must have not uh, covered up that text I thought I covered it up with the butterfly with the, uh, the text by the butterfly I must have left that so I was happy with that page, so I decided to put wax paper in there, just so I could go to another page and try a different one. And then here I like this one here with the flower pots, the plants in the flower pots. So I decided um, it's got the yellow background that I, um, I wanted to do orange. So I grabbed some orange paint to paint around these flower pots and I you know realized that the paint was pretty transparent so you could like see the text through the paint so I should have painted the words out first with some white which you know that's all part of you know just doing you learn you do you learn and um, so I ended up having to 
go back in with some white paint to cover up that text better and um, I actually like the way it turned out even better after adding the white because I had more of a mottled looking background and you know that made me happy so uh, here I'm just putting in some white so it'll be more opaque this orange and we'll cover up the text in the background better and then went back over it with some orange to bring back some of the orange and like I said you know after uh, adding the white I liked it better anyway that kind of mottled look and then I dried that a little bit and then I went through my stash and I found um, some uh, ephemera, the squirrel, and then a couple quotes to add to the page to cover up some of the things that I want to cover it up. And then she had like grass, you know, at the bottom. So I decided to put the grass in to kind of get it to blend in with what's on her dress. And then I decided I like that green so I went around the potted plants with it I did like a little frame as you see me here doing and her hat's kind of uh, cut off so I, I fix that. I get some paint to fix the hat to make it uh, look like it's you know not cut off on the top. <laughs> and I do a few more touches and put some washi tape on that left side. It looked like it needed some more decorating on the left side. That's pretty much my little magazine journal that I've got started and the two pages I've done in it so far. I'll probably play around with this and do some more. If you like this video you can give me a thumbs up or you can leave a comment uh, if you'd like to leave a comment or you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Oh and then I write on here a couple of things with my Posca pen. Grow in faith and then on the other side I don't remember what did I put um, hope for tomorrow. Yep. Thank you for stopping by and watching and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.